So we have another brand new episode of Raw and really and truly I don't know what's going on. This episode was so crap. Like it was just it was just shit. I I'm meeting someone here. Hey guys, it's Marab Marani. Hope you guys are all doing well today. So another episode of Rouse of Atlanta and it wasn't really exciting. I had me skipping my way through because I wanted to see some drama, some, you know, altercations between cast members, which we all want to see, all are tuned to seeing and we did not see that, unfortunately. But what we do have is the main storyline is Sheree's whole Tyrone kind of, I don't know what this is, but she has a storyline. It's basically now coming into full effect finally like the ninth or tenth episode in and it is a bit of a shame it's taking this long because she really is the bone carrier that's all she's really known for as i said it just brings devaluation to her character but she's with a tyrone person is he a good person is he not she's seeing this particular life coach and he's there to support her support her choices to support her life situations and how to deal with them in an effective manner which i feel like is useful for her but i feel like you know is she only doing this with him because it's a good scene for tv she only with this person because it's a good scene for TV, who knows? But at the, at the end of the day, we have this particular person that she has brought onto the show and she has this tyrant nonsense and, you know, there's going to be a bit of irritants with Nini because apparently Nini called her, you know, a con artist and, you know, that it's going to bring up a 2.0 of the beef that they used to have over Tyrone before. But it's going to be interesting to see how she handles it and will Tyrone feature on the show? That's another question that people might have. When will she meet him? Will she get conned out of him? Will he come to her house? Is she stupid to do that? Are her friends going to let her know? Are they going to check her? You know, that is a bit of a problem that could occur when it comes to Sheree's storyline. So I'm interested to see where it goes in only relation to the fact that is he going to feature on the show and how will this, you know, cause a friction between her and Nini. That's the only really direct relations to why I'm interested to see when it comes to this. And we've got Cynthia and she, you know, she's got all these, she's dating these men and so forth and, you know, Candy's asking questions, rightfully so to an extent, because obviously Candy knows of this person in terms of the business world and the music industry or where of oh, the television industry and etc etc so she wants to ask her questions she wants to probe him but my thing is this because when candy was getting with todd cynthia's mouth was quiet she was in the corner doing team furniture she was not involved she was staying in her own lane so really and truly i know your intentions are in the right place candy but is it really your place to be asking consistent questions about this particular person did a little investigating i'm kind of skeptical about will in atlanta there's a lot of people who fake it till they make it stay woke is grilling will like we are at a mom joe's cookout i don't think so and then we have this whole porsche stuff you know still going with nini i feel like this is probably unfortunately one of those seasons where it is the most anticipated seasons ever but it's just become so dry even with nini it's, nini can't save the show unfortunately it's become so so dry from the whole kim and kenya fake beef which we all know was damn fake to this whole porsche and candy friction to phage i've been mentioned every single damn second to Nini shouting her rooftops off, to Marlo trying to get that peach, to, you know, I, I miss Phaedra. We all want Phaedra back. It was a shame because we were happy that she left, she got exposed, but you kind of want her back because she kind of adds that flavour that's really missing from this. But all in all, this episode was really boring for me. It was really bland, not much was going on, lack of depth, not much interest with the characters, it's getting a bit bored now, repetitive. I'm not really interested, in, I'm not really tuned into reviewing it anymore, unfortunately, but I'm just doing so for the sake of my subscribers. And hopefully, maybe there'll be an episode or two that will pull me back in, that will reel me back into, in terms of my interests. But let me know what you guys think of my review. Let me know what you guys think of this entire episode. Were you a fan of it? Were you not? Were there more storylines that I did not touch on? Because I only touched on two today that were somewhat appealing to me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll most definitely catch you guys soon.